Hi guys, if you may or may not know, this is kind of an important day for Star Wars fans. Since it's May the 4th, no, May the 4th be with you, May the 4th be with you, <laughs> that's what they say. And I've heard some things that Disney have been doing that, they're trying to claim that, when it's something that the fans made up, <laughs> which is funny to hear, on a Twitter post I think. But yeah, what I want to talk about on, you know, May the 4th, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> about Star Wars The Clone Wars Order 66 explained because that was a crazy twist in that latest episode episode 11 is it? yeah <laughs> yeah I flipped up when I see that twist like I was thinking are they gonna make Rex a bad guy? no <laughs> and then when they kind of explained it are the Bad Batch gonna be bad guys? Uh, but yeah I'm just gonna see what this says and then you know I'll just say a few things on that so the Clone Wars the Clone Wars gives us a new tragic look at the events of Order 66 a massacre that completely changed the Star Wars galaxy and brought the Jedi to the edge of extinction. I wonder if this was what killed most of the Jedi. Soon the Clone Wars will be over. The seventh season animated series is ending much in the same way as the Revenge of the Sith, with the evil Emperor Palpatine rising to power and ordering the slaughter of the Jedi. If you, if you've watched the prequel trilogy, you know that his Jedi purge begins with Order sixty six. Yeah, we're already at that time. <laughs> Crazy. In shattered the penultimate episode of the wait what Palpatine on Jesus. wait this is the penultimate episode wait what it's penultimate what the <laughs> I didn't even realise that have we literally only got one episode left no way if that's true then oh man that's that's really sad it feels like we deserve more I'd need to make the last episode 40 minutes long or something I can't believe I can't believe we're already on the last episode it feels like we still need a lot more. How are they going to end it? I guess I can go watch Rebels to see what happens in that. Because I haven't watched Rebels. But yeah, let's just continue reading. Because I'm kind of shocked that it's already the penultimate episode. And maybe that's why it was so shocking. But yeah, Palpatine unleashes Order 66 on the on Hazuka, Tano and Maul. What was initially a major victory. Victory for Azoka and Mandalore has turned into a treasure that will be completely changed. Completely change her life. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me just go down. I haven't missed anything, right? So, what is Order sixty six, and how is it connected to the other parts of Star Wars saga? What is Order sixty six? The Order is a cue, a cue for the entire army of the clone troops to kill their Jedi commanders and any other Jedi they find. Order 66 effectively marks all Jedi as traitors to the Republic and major threats to the galaxy. Revenge of the Sith. So it's talking about the prequel movie. That's like the third one, right? Episode 3. Shows shows several Jedi surprised by clone troopers in the middle of their missions cut down on the ground or in the sky by their own allies. Ayala Zakoba, Plukun, and Ki Adi Muri are among the Jedi who die at the resolve of Order 66. I know what happens to Mace Windu. <laughs> Kit Fitzwa and others also die while dueling du Palpatine and curse scant just before the Sith Lord gives the order. Order 66 was hidden from everyone but Palpatine, the Jedi Temple, on curse scant in a major target of the order as Clone and Darth Vader march into the building and slaughter Jedi Knights. Padawans and younglings alike, which, you know, that's a dark scene <laughs> when Anakin's like slaughtering those kids, but you know, they don't actually show it. You just see him taking out his lightsaber and the kid's like, oh shit. <laughs> Whether on the battlefield or at home, no Jedi is sp spared. Yeah. Stream Star Wars. Oh, wait, wait, okay. As Sakotano gets caught right in the middle of Order 66 in Shattered, on her way back to the Coruscant to deliver the former Sith apprentice, she suddenly feels a terrible dis disturbance in the Force. As Anakin joins Darth Sidious and the Jedi are slaughtered, suddenly the clone troopers once are. At her command, turn against her and try to kill her. Azoka is now in a fight for her life against the soldiers she once called her family. So is Anakin right now in this show a bad guy? I'm kind of confused with that. I need to show that then. And man, I, I really wanted to see, you know, Obi-Wan and Anakin have a fight. Like, imagine if they end it with that fight. That'd be crazy. Make it a 40 minute episode as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what they do, which... Oh man... It really wasted time if those if episode five to eight. Oh man, that was the penultimate episode. It feels like episode twelve should be the penultimate episode since you know season six 
that was like 13 episodes. Yeah, I'll just keep reading. We know Ahsoka doesn't encounter Anakin Skywalker during Order 66. She cannot yet know that he's become Darth Vader as the revelations come later in Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, that's what I was talking about because I actually seen a moment where Ahsoka's fighting Darth Vader, which, you know, is Anakin, which is just crazy for her to have to fight him. I'm not, I'm not really sure how long she lives in, you know, Star Wars. And I know she lives a long time, I just don't know when she dies. But she might see the end of end result of Order 66 for herself if she makes it back to Coruscant by the series finale of the Clone Wars. How is Order 66 carried out? In the Clone Wars troopers the good guys? They fought alongside the Jedi for years after all. But the clone troopers were ground and decanted, not naturally born. Wait. So are we still gonna see the bad batch? Like there's still so much they need to do and it's already the last episode. That's just crazy. Yeah. Not naturally born, their costume ordered from the Republic from the Gene Smiths or Camino willings to sell people into life of war and poverty was able to make these clones part of his long term plan for the start. The clone protocol sixty six Arc in Clone Wars season six shows how an accidental early activation of Order sixty six almost revealed the whole plan when it and his friend killed a Jedi commando. I don't know if I need to really read all this, but I'll just see if there's anything else after this. But seems to be no reason Clone Wars troopers forgive investigates what's going on on his search, eventually lead him right to Palpatine where the clone guards killed him, never knowing they were serving the person who would one day be responsible for the fall of the Republic. I'm seeing how much is here. I don't know if I need to read all of this. <laughs> Well, if you guys don't really know about Order 66, um, this is basically giving you information. I can like put a link to it. If you guys want to read it all yourself. I just don't know if I need to read it all. Because you know, you know what it does. But if you want any other information, I guess you could read this whole article. But yeah, I'm kind of shocked that it's ending. Oh, it says who survived, so maybe I'll read this at least. And I'll just give my thoughts also about what's already been on the last episode. <laughs> Probably going to change my avatar now since it's, it's coming to an end. I just don't know if it'll be Final Fantasy related. <laughs> okay, so although the massacre of the Jedi was supposed to be complete, it's a big galaxy of some Jedi. Sipped through the cracks long enough to see the rise of the rebellion. Others lasted only a few months after the initial order. Both Legends, Contrini and the Disney canon feature Jedi who, one way or another, survived past the end of the Clone Wars. Major Jedi, major Jedi characters like Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi went into exile until the original trilogy, in which they tried to keep their traditions of the Jedi alive by trading Luke Skywalker with Avenger of the Sith shows how both of them escaped and devised their long-term plan to one day defeat the Emperor. So is the Emperor basically still alive right now? Or was that just a, like a clone? You know, otherwise a Skywalker. But yeah, I think I should talk about that another day. <laughs> That'll be too long of a topic. I got a friend wait for me on GTA, so. <laughs> wait, how long is this? It seems like too much effort to read all this. I don't feel like I need to read it all. But yeah, I guess the clone was on its last episode. I can't believe they're already at that point. It was crazy. And yeah, I don't know if we'll get to see any, you know, big Jedi characters die in Order 66 in the Clone Wars TV show, so... We'll just have to see what happens. If next week's episode is the last episode, I might need to check that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be streaming Vice City later on. Right now, I'm going to go play with a friend on GTA. I'll see you guys next time. May the 4th be with you. Peace guys, see ya.